continue on lesson six. So Lewis, who pays the bills at your house? Um, I pay the bills in my house. Very good. Lewis, ask Manolo number two. Uh, Manolo, when is your rent mortgage due? Do it? Due. Uh-huh. Due. My rent mortgage. Mortgage? So here we have mortgage. rent or mortgage. Mortgage is when you buy a house okay. and rent is como rentar. So it could be a house, apartment. It's not the same to rent and mortgage? Not the same. They're similar. It's similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pay every month, but mortgage is to buy and rent is to rent. Mm -hmm. So Manolo, do you pay rent or a mortgage? I pay rent. Good. When is your rent due? It's the uh, 5 May. Good. So your rent is due on May. May 8th. Good. When is your next rent due after May? It, uh, June. Mm -hmm. What day in June? Do you know? No, I don't know. Very good. Next in June. So every month. Yeah. Good. Manolo, ask Luz number three. How many credit cards do you have? Uh, three, four, five, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure, maybe 27. <laughs> okay, Luz, ask Manolo four. Do you have a payments do son? son? Mm -hmm. Soon. Yes, I have a payment, son. Good. Uh, what number five? What happens if you miss a payment, Luz? Uh, I have to pay um, a late payment. Good. Late uh -huh. 25 or something. Usually they're called late fees. Late. Feeds. Good. Luz, ask Manolo, number six. When is your homework due? When is my homework due? Hmm. Uh, Every Sunday? Yeah, is your homework due on Wednesday? On Monday? No. Every Sunday when we have class. Oh, yeah. All right, number seven. Do you have any projects due soon at work? Mm, yes, I have uh, some projects. Good, what projects are you working on at work? Um, I went to cleaning the carpet, but I don't know when. <laughs> Good. Good. It's a project someday soon. Yeah, yeah, it's project. <laughs> and number eight. Uh, do you wait to the last minute or proclamate? So this word is procrastinate. Procrastinate to do things. Guess mm -hmm. pro procrastinate. Pro procrastinate it's like to wait so let's say if i have to if i have to finish my homework before sunday on monday i'll do it later no problem uh, um, it's only tuesday i'll do it later on wednesday and on wednesday i wait and i wait and i wait oh okay Como posponer, posponer ah, las cosas. Postpone. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so to procrastinate. Mm -hmm. Like I need to clean my floor, but I'm procrastinating. Mm -hmm. 
say, I'll, that's okay. I'll do it Maybe later. I don't want to do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, exactly. it's okay. Yay, next next week. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not right now. Okay. Good. It's like my project, no? <laughs> right. So Liz, in your life, do you procrastinate or do you do things on time? Uh, I like to do on the time, but sometimes they don't know when, when the people is working and I don't want to um, embody. Uh, you don't want to bother the people? Yeah. Oh, so I'm good. waiting until somebody's not come and mm -hmm. I'm saying, oh, it's, it's the time. <laughs> so that's a great example. You're waiting, but it's not your, like you are waiting for something else to be. Yeah, waiting. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pro procrastinating, usually I am able to do that. I could. I don't mm -hmm. want to do right now. Yeah, yeah. Good. So you're waiting but not because you want to. No, no, I don't like to, I don't like this, but sometimes I have to wait. Mm -hmm. Good, you're being patient. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good job. Okay, next one, we'll talk about customer service. What does this mean? Customer service? When um, you want you buy something and it's not comfortable for you, mm -hmm. so you go to customer service or exchange. Good. Uh huh. So the job when you help a customer. Yeah. Okay. So number one, so this phrase: the customer is always right. Es una frase entre negocios para decir si la... El cliente tiene la razón. Sí, el cliente siempre tiene razón. Exacto. Uh -huh. Tal vez no es verdad. Tal vez no. el cliente no tiene razón. Ajá, uh -huh. pero debe seguir comprando. <laughs> sí. So, sí, make sí. happy to the feliz. customer. <laughs> exactly. So, Liz, do you agree with this statement? Uh, yeah, I agree. Very good. Manolo, too, do you work in sales or customer service? ¿Cómo es? So, number two, do you work in sales or customer service? Customer service. Mm -hmm. Ser servicio de clientes. No, I don't have the that word. So, you work. You remind me. Remind me. What is your job, Manolo? Uh, construction roofing. Ah, oh, for roofing. Okay, good. Good, so you build the roof. Do you talk to the customers? Yes. Sometimes, but now it's tu primero trabajo, ¿sí? No, not this my first job. Very yeah. good. Okay, Manolo, can you ask Luz number three? Luz, do you think that you are a, are a good customer? Um, I'm trying. <laughs> good. Yeah, I try to be a good customer. A good customer. <laughs> good. I think that's the most important. Okay. Ask Manolo number four, please. Do you complain a lot or easily? Mm -hmm. Do you complain no. a lot? I'm never complaining with. Good. So you do not complain? No. Very good. All right. Manolo, ask Luz number five. How empathetic, empathetic are you? Good. Empathetic is... Um, what is... 
swear that we have uh, two words in English. So sympathy is when you say, oh, I'm sorry, you I mean, simpatias por una otra persona. I feel bad for you. Oh. This word, empathy, uh -huh, it's like, I feel the same. Yo puedo relatar. No, maybe that's not right. No. Uh, yo puedo re relacionarse. I can relate. Mm. Yes, so empathy, creo que es similar. Ah, es empathy es, es no like you don't care when something happens? Right. Yeah, if you have empathy, you do care. You do care? Mm -hmm. Oh. And they feel bad when something bad happens? Exactly. So with empathy, oh. if my friend is sad, I am sad. Oh, okay. If my boss is angry, I am angry. Or mm -hmm. Oh. No, when my boss is angry, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't hear yeah. that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, a lot of times mm -hmm. I am empathic. Mm -hmm. So empathy is right, like the emotions of other people are important. Yeah, yeah. You think about how does this person feel. Yeah, and uh, always I'm looking for something to help, and mm -hmm. I want to help, but I don't know, and yeah. Good, yeah, looking to help. For example, mm -hmm. I think you are an empathetic person. Yeah. Good job, Luz. Ask Manolo number six. Do you have plans, plans? Plans? Mm -hmm. To go shopping some soon? No, I don't have plans to go to shopping soon. <laughs> Okay, Manolo, ask Luz number seven. ¿Cómo se com compare? So compare. Compare. So vamos para comparaciones. Oh. Compare, okay. Compare the customer service you normally get in the US to customer service in your country. Uh. No, it's a, uh, uh, como le digo, nada que ver. It's different, totally different. Ah, so in your yeah. country it's different? Yeah, it's, um, in my country, they never change something. The people has a mm. store or has a, something and you buy wrong something and mm -hmm. they don't help you. Ah. They say, or you buy, you buy. Okay, so like to return an item, yeah. not the same? No. Or when, you put, or when you put the gas in the, you know? Or yeah. you put gas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of difference. Ah, how is that different when you put gas in your car? Uh, because uh, when you put in gas, it's uh, like air, and uh, you put some money, and uh, you don't see the difference. Like here, mm -hmm. the, the la cosita esa que marca la gas, ni siquiera se mueve cuando tú le pones mucho dinero para supuestamente poner gas. <laughs> bueno, así es en México. No, no entiendo. ¿Imagina es diferente o qué? No, el gas es suspenso en uh, you try to put in gas and say, uh, for example, the last time uh, my husband stopped to to go to bathroom and I'm um, say, oh, go to pulling gas but yes maybe a quarter 
Uh, they need they need just a quarter gas and <laughs> just say to the people, oh, full in the gas. Do you understand? Mm. And they told me in how many, how much you want to gas? How, mm -hmm. Or how many? How much? How and much I, gas? How much gas? And I'm saying, oh, full, full in gas? Mm -hmm. You want full? Uh-huh. And uh, the person, they don't know how many gas you need. But you say full, and they they ask you for a lot of money. But it's not oh. true. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so the princess mejor yeah. que that. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Just oh. a little bit. It just need a little bit in... in um, you got a lot of money. <laughs> um, here it's the same. Yep. No matter what, it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Like it's, uh, it's escrito. Tu puedes ver la prisa antes de tener gas. Oh, very interesting. You know, that's a good example. Getting gas is different. What else? Yeah, to return items. Yeah. What about at restaurants? Los meseros, meseras. Um, Are the waiters the same or different? Mm. Uh, almost the same. The same. Good. Depends. All right, last question. Luz, ask Manolo, number eight. Do you think Americans are too polite or even fake? Mm -hmm. Are too polite? Yeah. I think we polite. Good. Yes. Like some, in Rizal? Some so, people. Yeah. Some people. Uh -huh. Un día por la cerveza de costum, clientes en los Estados Unidos son siempre feliz y paciencia, pero en verdad la persona es like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. Hi, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> I do that at my old yeah. job, or when you answer the phone, I'm so angry, I don't like my job, hello? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's vague. <laughs> Sometimes the person is not so happy uh -huh. for customer service. You're expected. Customer service is not easy job because <laughs> some expected. some customers are mad and mm -hmm. yelling to the custom the customer service, and uh, that's not easy. Yeah. I think in the United States, sometimes a lot of customers complain. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you have to relax and, and make a happy customer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a very difficult job. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Let's go next here. We have a little bit of reading about opening a bank account. So, Manolo, can you read this first paragraph? Okay. If you are planning to live in the United States in the indefinitely, indefinitely, or indefinitely, Good. or to ultimately become a U.S. citizen, citizen, uh, citizen. citizen? You should probably open a bank account sooner than later. If you are used traveling in the US, you can probably re really on rely. rely on using your normal bank. If you can use your ATM card, here, here as but a debit and a credit card. Very good. Read the next sentence. 
let's talk about some of the benefits, pros and the problems comes with using banks in the United States. Very good. So Luz, do you have an American bank account? Mm, yes. Good. Manolo, do you have an American bank account? No, I don't have. Good. Don't. All right. So what does this mean here? ¿Qué significa? Indefinitely. Living in the United States indefinitely is like you're living here. Yeah, if I say indefinitely, means I don't know the end time. Yeah. Right? It's not like, oh, I'll live in the United States for one year, yeah. then I will move. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Or to ultimately become a citizen. Good. Probably open a bank account sooner than later. Mm -hmm. That's a common phrase in English. Más temprano que más tarde. Sooner rather than later. But if you're just traveling, you can use a normal bank and your bank card. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then next we'll talk about benefits and problems. So benefits, good pros. Problems are the bad cons. Guess what cons? Oops, sorry. Uh, so, cons. repeat your question. Cons. Uh, cons are bad things. So, oh. for comments? example, like what? My comments. Comments. Mm. Maybe it's a little different. I think, but for example, so. Let's say driving a car to work. The pro, the pros, it is fast. Um, let's see. And one of the cons is it is expensive. The good thing about driving to work, you can drive fast. A bad thing about driving a car to work is it is expensive to pay for gas. Oh. Es claro? Mm, sí. Maybe? Yeah, let's see. Um, what's another one? Eating chocolate. One of the pros is that I like chocolate. The con is that chocolate is not healthy. No. Oh. Okay, so we'll do this about a bank account. What are the good things about it and the bad things about oh, okay. it? Oh, okay. Okay, good. So we will start here and we'll take our break now. Okay. Begin here at 10.45, okay? 2.45? Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know what hour it is. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. Okay. 2.45. There we go. 15 minutes. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay.
Do you want the type of guy to drag and drop grenades from his inventory? If you don't leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel, please. Do you know what the hold of here? Get across, somebody! Please! Yeah. Wait, for God? No, I'm not. Oh, my God! What was it? Okay. All right. All ready. Okay. Louis, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hey, we Manolo will join us. Looks like he's not here right now, but we'll see. All right, Louis, can you read this slide, please? Opening a bike back bank account can help you in many ways. First is the good to open a bank account account to start building your credit. Everyone is the United States has something called a credit score. If you need to rent 
an apartment or house, apply for credit card, store on cell phone, or get any tape, anything? Any tape? Of long, you will need to have a good credit score and you don't have a credit score and you, if you have a bad one, it might be maybe hard to get approved for something like this. For loans or good credit score helps you get a good interesting interest rate too. Very good. Hello, Manolo. Hola. Hi. Good, Liz. So, it's important to have a good credit score. Mm -hmm. Any questions here? Mm, no. Okay, no. Manolo, any questions? No, he's okay. Okay. Good. Manolo, can you please read from the beginning and in here at church? Church, okay. It, it is also a good idea to open a bank account to manage your money. Fields banks are safe places in the United States and you keep don't have to be content with losing your money because they are also insured. It is a it is safer safer to keep your money in a bank in a bank and at your house. Next, if you open a bank account, you can deposit your paycheck free of charge. Very good. Okay, Luz, can you read from here to the end? Uh, check cashier service usually change high feet just to give your money, your money, see? Mm -hmm. For, uh, huh? Could you say? Furthermore. Furthermore, if you have a check. addition to. Oh. If you have a checking account, is it is easier mm -hmm. mm, and safe, 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 easier and safer and safer to pay your bills than we cash. Many business don't accept cash payments, especially if they are large payments, and you get. A checking account, your child also requests an ATM or debit, debit card so you can access money outside of normally banking hours. Very good. Okay, questions here? Mm, no. That is true. Mm-hmm. Um, I use my debit card for almost everything. Yeah. It's not so common to have cash right now. Yeah, me too. Good. All right, Manolo, read here, please. Savings accounts are great to open to you save money typically they will offer some type of interest that, that will help you make more money over the long run too a potential negative is that it can be harder to access this money you might you might also have to maintain a minimum balance balance it to keep this Account open. Very good. Questions here? No. Okay, good. So, yeah, let's do some questions for you. 
Um, Manolo, do you have a bank account? Yes, I have a bank account. Good. Manolo, ask Luz number two. Luz, do you use a local bank, a national bank, or a credit union? Mm. Local bank, where is local bank? So, local, like close to you in your neighborhood, in your oh. city? Yes, I usually local bank. Good. Bank. In national bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what bank do you use, Luz? Uh, Chase. Good, yeah, something's a national bank. There's Chase mm -hmm. everywhere in the United yeah. States. Good. All right, Luz, ask Manolo number three. What tips of account do you have? Checking savings, ATM, or credit? I use a uh, bot, checking and credit. Good, so you have a checkings account? And savings? Yeah. Good, yeah, what yeah, type? Yeah, I use it. Manolo, do you have checkings and savings? Yeah, checking and, and savings. Okay, good. All right, Manolo, ask Luz number four. Luz, are there are banks different different here than in your country? Are banks different than in your country? Um I think it's the same. Good. Not the same, not too different. Um little different, but it's not too not too much. Good. Yeah, the money's different. <laughs> oh yeah, money is different. <laughs> but everything else, yeah, about the same. Good. Yeah. I was asking Manola number five. Um Manolo, use a trust bank. Thanks. What do you mean, trust? So, to... Tu crees en los bancos? Trust, uh-huh. To trust is like believe in, crees. A ver, que otra palabra puedes usar? ¿Puedes confirmar? No. Mm -hmm. Sí, confiar. Confiar en los bancos. Tiene confidencia. Mm -hmm. So, confianza. Confianza, sí, sí, sí. Confianza al banco, no perder tu dinero. Si yo dar el banco, uh, if I give the bank $20, I can mm -hmm. retrieve my money. Sí, so. I think so, but I've never deposited a lot of money. The bank. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So maybe it depends if you have a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. To trust the bank is say if I give all my money to the bank, yeah. the bank won't steal it, won't take it. Manolo, puedes repetir? Uh, Can you repeat one? that, Manolo? Can you repeat that? Sí. Um, yeah, I've never deposited. What did you say? I've never deposited everything my money. No. Okay, good. But you trust the banks? Yeah, it's a little. Yeah. Good. Okay, ask us number six. Do you make mistakes sometimes and have to pay late fees or other fees? Mm, not normally. Good. Sometimes, but normally it's not. I don't have to pay fees. Good, not normally. No. For Luz, ask me number seven. 
Do you use online banking to pay bills or transfer money? Manolo? Permíteme nomás que no. Ok. Sí. También. Uh, estoy teniendo problemas, no sé. Uh -huh. Do you use online banking to pay bills or transfer money? Yes, I use online banks when I pay a bill. Very good. It's very convenient, right, to use mm -hmm. online banking or an app. Yeah. Good. So the last question says, let's debate this. What are the pros and the cons of having a bank account? So what are the good things and the bad things? Mm. Start with pros. What is good? Mm, the good things is um, I think the bank take care of my money. Good. The bank protects your money. Mm -hmm. What else, Manolo? What's a pro, a good thing about having a bank account? Uh, uh, you can put the put the money in the bank. Mm -hmm. I think good. So. You can keep mm -hmm. your money in an account. I don't need to keep all of my money in my house. Mm -hmm. You can earn interest. And they give me, they give me, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Para credit scores. Uh, good. You can help your credit score. Good, if you have a credit card, a debit card, checks. Mm -hmm. All right, what about the opposite? What are some of the cons? For example, for me, it can be very confusing. Very complicated to work with a bank. Oh, why? Sorry, what, Luz? Why? Maybe there's details or specific things like, um, I don't know, I have a lot of questions every time I go to my bank. Mm. <laughs> but maybe it's simple. Uh, back things. A little harder. I don't know. Yeah. So we talked about you need to trust the banks. Mm -hmm. If you give them money, you can have it back. Yeah. And the only other one I can think of is if you get credit card debt. If you spend too much money on your credit card. Oh, <laughs> it can be a problem. Mm, yeah. All right. Any questions here? Mm, no. Okay. All right. Okay. So next we'll just talk about the process. Manolo, can you read this paragraph? Okay. Okay, now let's talk about the process of opening a bank account. The first step to opening a bank account is to visit several banks account for your needs. You might, you might ask question like, do you offer a free checking, savings account, or do you char charge what is their interest? 
That's it? No? All right, continue. Okay. What is the interested rate? Rate? Huh? Rate? No. Interest rate? rate. For your saving account? Okay. Interest, interest rate for your saving account are ATM, easy to access what if I travel. Do you offer overdraft protection? Very good. Yeah, there's lots of questions here. If you travel, what is the interest rate? Is it high interest or low interest? Okay, Luz, read this slide, please. If you like the answer to the question, you can fill out in a application in open account, you will need to provide some or all of the following uh -huh. documents to, ver to verify your to identity, verify. to verify identity, identity mm -hmm. and stability. Good, good, good. The document so. use driver license for certificate, utilities, bills with your address, social security, individual pay, pages, identification number or employer ID. Good, so you need to have all your information. Who are you? Yeah. Where do you live? Okay. Here. Okay, Manolo, read this slide, please. Manolo? Here? Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Maybe not. Luz, can you hear me? Yeah. When you are at the scene. <laughs> Sí. Mhm. Mm escucharme? Sí, un poquito malo, lo siento, o es poquito uh, tarde, pero sí, Manolo, por favor, lea. Hola. Sí, sí. Lo sé. Okay, when you are at a bad, this is an extra, be extra polite and ask requis, requis, rec, come on, requisite. You can use phrases like, please tell me about the bank. Can I apply for a credit card? I would like to open a account. The banker will say, Things like, would you like to open a savings account? Please show me your ID. Mm -hmm. And can you read the last? Can you fill out? Can you fill out, out this application? Very good. It's a very formal speech. Please tell me. Can I apply? I would mm -hmm. like. I'll say, would you? Please, can you? Very formal questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions here? No. All right. Okay, our next part, what to complete the sentences. So we want to use our expressions with get, get expressions. So for example, I can say, I like to get popcorn when I go to the movies. In this case, what does get mean? 
Ah, me gusta agarrar palomitas. Sí, me gusta comprar, obtener. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Luz. Complete a sentence with I hate it when I get. No sé qué. Que no me gusta. Sí. No me gusta cuando you'd say maybe when I get angry, when I get hungry, when I get tired. I had um, buy clothes because I had to. Um, ¿Cómo se dice para probarte? Uh, to try them on. Uh huh. And I don't like this. <laughs> Good. I hate it when I get new clothes because I have to try them on. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Manolo, can you complete number three? I get dressed. Maybe. Si tu puedes escucharme, Manolo. Oh, he is muted. Hmm. Okay, Louis, let's have you do number three. I get dressed. I get dressed. Um, I don't know, help me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, I get dressed. In the morning, at night, quickly, slowly, in 10 minutes. In Hola. Minutes. Oh. Hola, Manolo. I can hear you now. I get dressed in five minutes um, after you go to work. After get, you go to work? Si me escucha. Before. Si escuchar, Manolo. Before? Yeah. Oh. Good, I get dressed in five minutes before I go to work. I am confused before and after. Ah, uh -huh, porque... And sometimes I'm saying, oh, you're, yeah, 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 okay, I got it, I got it, right. When I need to use it, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. So before. before, antes, after is this voice, this voice? Yo no sé cómo de letrea. Oh, I'm sorry. Lo siento. Des, después. Good. Yeah. Mm. Those two are tricky. Maybe just to memorize. Maybe before and after. Sí, porque after and antes. Pero significa los opuestos. Mm -hmm. Después. Mm -hmm. Después is after. So, you? Mm -hmm. for example, I take a shower before I get dressed. I eat breakfast yes. after I get dressed. Maybe for order in a routine, what happens That's before not. and after. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, can you do number four? I get ready for. Manolo, number four. Aquí? No sé. Creo que no. 
Crack, no. Work. Ah, lo siento, Manolo. Can you repeat? No sé, no sé. Okay. No. But number four, you could say, I get ready for work. I get ready for class at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll reconnect. Okay. Oh, Simon, I don't know. <laughs> Can I hear? <laughs> All right. I think it'll return. Maybe that will help. So, Luz, do number five. I get mad when. I get mad when I'm hungry. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Very good. I get yes, exercise a... when mm -hmm. I get exercise. A I get when I get away. What is this word? Ex oh, excited. Yes, I get excited when I get excited when going home. Hola. Hola Manolo, ¿puedes escuchar mejor? Sí, ahorita sí. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Um, no sé por qué pasa eso, que no, no agarro buena señal. Sí, no, tal vez yo no puedo escuchar, lo siento. Pero está bien. Creo que, Creo que solo soy yo. <laughs> ok, so Lucy said, I get excited when what? When it's time to go home. Very good. To go home from work. Yeah. Good. Great example. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you do number seven? I get sad if. I get sad if. If my mom don't answer the call. Good. I get sad if my mom. Look here. Do you need doesn't. doesn't answer the call. Answer the call. That's good too. Poquito más. That's right. Claro. Okay. She doesn't answer the phone. Doesn't answer the phone. Okay. Very good. Okay, Luz, I get so tired after. I get so tired after 5, five o'clock. Very good. After 5 p.m., you get tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay, questions with get? No. Okay. Manolo, do you have okay. any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay. So, to learn some new expressions today. Uh, Luz, can you read this slide? Uh, the first one? Sí. There are many other expressions with the form get. Good. Get out or doing something to avoid. Mm -hmm. Example, if I can get out of work. I can go camping. Good. Okay. Manolo, read the next one. Okay. Get over, start to feel better. I am getting over a cold, but I still feel sick. Oh. Luz, read the next one. Mm. Work leave. I get all work at five. Mm. And Manolo, the last one. Uh, get on. Mm -hmm. Plan, train, bus. Good. Get off plus plan, train, bus. I get on the bus at Peoria and get off the bus at 47th. 
Good. So careful with here because we have get on, get off. But for cars, we use get in. Get in my friend's car. I get out of my car to pump gas. But for planes, trains, and buses, we get on, get off. Any questions? No. Hello. Hmm? Bless you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I get allergies in the spring sometimes. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Job here. That's the end of this lesson. So, next one, let's start on lesson seven. <laughs> All right. So for a warm up, no vamos a escuchar el canción en este momento. Yo voy a enviar a usted el link. Okay. Okay. Y para tarea escuchar esta canción. Okay. Good. But today in class, we will read about some country music. So nombre de canción. It's called On the Road Again by Willie Nelson. Manolo, can you read the first paragraph here? Okay. The first paragraph? Yes, please. On the Road Again is a song made famous by B or is by? By. Okay. Famous by country music singer Willie Nelson. It become an. No. Huh? So N O like this means number. Oh. Number uh, one hit. Number one hit in mm -hmm. November 1980 and become one of the. of Nelson most. Reco symbol? Yeah, this word is recognizable. Recognizable? Uh -huh. It's like to recognize, able to recognize, recognizable. Recogni recognizable? Huh? Yeah, good. Tunes Nelson won a Grammy Award for Best country song a uh, year later. Very good. Yeah, so this one, number one, right? So I could say like, I don't know, week number seven or lesson number eight, that N-O with the period. Here it's saying number one. Okay, good. What does this word mean? Recognizable. Fue reconocido. Mm -hmm, exactly. El canción más reconocido. Mm -hmm. Good. So was his song popular? Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Number one hit. The very top. Number one. Mm -hmm. What award did he win? Excuse me? What award did Willie Nelson win? Yeah, what kind of award? Germany Awards. He won a Grammy Award. Oh. Grammy? So the famous award. award for music, a Grammy. Oh, okay. Good. All right, Luz, can you read the next paragraph? 
Will he have Nelson born April 29, 1933 in American country music? Singer, songwriting? Songwriter. Songwriting, writer, as well, well as on another. Uh -huh. uh, an, puerto? an author, a poet, poet, actor, in activities. Nelson is one of the most recognized artists in country music. Nelson has acted in November 30 films. Co authored? Uh, co authored? Co authored several books and has promoted? Mm -hmm. Promoted? The use of biofuel? Uh, biofuels. Biofuels in the legalization of marijuana. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anolo, do you have a question? No. Okay. Oh, good. Good job, Luz. Lots of big words here. <laughs> good. So, an author, poet, actor, and activist. This word co-authored, mm. how author means to write, co-author, together. Oh. Okay. It gets beautiful, beautiful? Mm -hmm. So this one is bio. Fuel. So fuel is como un gasolina, wow. pero bio, they cosas the mejor por el environmento. Mm. Es lo mismo de la primera parte de palabra biológico, oh. like biology, uh -huh. porque bio significa más o menos como la tierra, el uh -huh. La clima. Sí, sus costum combustible, combustibles, fuels, pero combustibles de environmento. Oh, okay. Like wind or solar power, por ejemplo. All right, questions here? No. Okay, Manolo, questions? No, it's okay. Good, good. Next, country music. Manolo, read the first paragraph, please. Okay. The first country music is a genre of American popular music that originated, originated, como? originated, originated in the rural regions of the southern United States in the 1920s. It 1920s. Takes 20s. 20s. It takes its roots from the south first term genre of American folk music and western music. Instruments include banjos, electric and acoustic guitars, bandolins, and harmonicas. Good. This last one is fiddles and harmonica. A fiddle is más o menos similar de un violín. ¿Cómo? Fiddles? Fiddles. Fiddles? Fiddles? Mm -hmm. Fiddles? Voy a un foto. Good. Fiddles. So good, yeah. Banjos, electric guitar, 
acoustic guitars, fiddles, and harmonicas. So a fiddle is como eso instrumento. Violin. Um, violin. Sí, sí, es muy similar. Mm -hmm. Good. And what's a harmonica? Harmonica is like um, unas. ¿Cómo se? ¿Cómo se llama Manolo eso? La armónica es como una cosa que se toca así con la boca. Sí, sí, sí. You play. Uh -huh. Flauta. Mm, ah. no. Algo así. No, yo, yo no sé. A ver, harmónica, eso. Uh -huh. ¿Tú sabes eso, instrumento? Sí. No. Yo, yo sí. no sé qué. Yo tenía uno de esos en México. Depende. Oh, <laughs> Good. So, Manolo, <laughs> for homework, para tarea, escuchar música con hermanicas. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good. Yes, yeah, so it's small and you play with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Luz, can you read the next paragraph? In 2009, country music was the most listened to Rush Hours, hour? huh? Radio, Rush hour? Radio Henry. This word Henry? is genre. Genre? Yeah. During the every, everything, 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 community. And second most popular in the morning commute. Commute. Com como? Commute. Commute in the United States. Uh, ¿Qué es commute? ¿Qué es commute? So commute significa cuando yo necesito conducir a mi trabajo. So if I drive to Denver every day for my work. I drive to work and home and work and home and work and home and work and home. The commute. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so in 2009, country music was the most listened to. This is when Rush Hour. Rush Hour. So Rush Hour is a Tiempo cuando hay más carros por la calle, uh -huh. cuando uh -huh. hay mucho tráfico. Uh -huh. Eso es usualmente en la mañana cuando personas son condu conducir al tra trabajo. Uh -huh. En la mañana conducir a las casas. Uh -huh. okay, so, yeah, rush hour means a time when there is a lot of traffic. Uh -huh. All right. So this word genre means like a type of music. So country music, jazz music, pop music, heavy metal, rock music. All those are genres, types. Okay, any other questions? No. Okay, good. Manolo, okay? Yeah, okay. Good, good. So, next, let's a talk bike. about. Monday? Huh? It is a bike. Oh, okay. Yeah, so transportation. What is this? Thank you, Manolo. A bike. Or you can say the full name bicycle. Bicycle. Bike is easier, shorter. Yeah. So, Manolo, what is the verb? The verb is a bike. The verb? This one. Ride. ride. Oh. So you verb. ride a bike. And the substantive is. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Manolo, read this sentence at the bottom, please. As Mike rides 
a bike to. Well, I can see the other word. Oh, to work. <laughs> oh, Mike writes a bike to work. Is Perfect. To work? Good. Uh huh. Oops. Oh, I can see the. Yeah, it says to sentences. work. So okay. it's como montar un bicicleta to ride. Mm -hmm. So because he, Mike, rides a bike to work. Okay, what is this? A walk. A walk. So Luz, what is the verb? Walk. My yeah, wife. Oh, sorry. Uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> my wife and I walk in the park. Good. Or yeah, my husband five. and I walk in the park. <laughs> Perfect. Good to walk. Okay, what is this? A car. Good. Manolo, what's the verb? Verb is drive. Yes. The example? Many people drive cars to work. To work. Uh, to work. Good. So I walk to work or I drive to work. I ride a bike to work. Okay. Luz, what is this? A train. What is the verb? Take a train. Take a train. Mm -hmm. I take the train downtown. Perfect. Good. So I drive a car. <coughs> I take a train. Mm. Okay. Manolo, what's this? Uh, taxi. Good. What's the verb? Take a taxi. The Good. State. My friends take a taxi to the... Uh, to the club. The club. Yeah. Oh. So I, say, I drive my car to the store. I take a taxi to the airport. Mm -hmm. So here's a car, but it matters. Is it my car or transportation? Taxi. It's the same if you take an Uber. Mm. I think now it's more Uber. Uh -huh. Much more <laughs> common. But it's the same, right? I drive my car, I take an Uber to the airport. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Uh, Luz, what's this? A bus. What's the verb? Take a bus. You take good. the bus to school. Very good. So again, public transportation. You have mm -hmm. to take. Good. The bus driver drives the bus. Mm -hmm. I take the bus. The bus driver. Mm -hmm. Alright, this one. Drives <laughs> the bus. The bus driver drives the bus. Ooh, there's your tongue twister. <laughs> or the taxi driver drives the taxi. Mm -hmm. I do not drive the taxi. I take a taxi. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. All right. That's your challenge. Say this fast. A bus driver drives the bus. The bus driver drives the bus. <laughs> crazy. Good. So I have some questions. Who's asking Olo number one? Uh, Manolo, how often do you drive a car? I drive a car uh, on the weekend. On the weekend. Good, on the weekend. Manolo, ask Luz number two. Luz, how often do you ride your bike? Um, I can drive the bike. 
Oh, so <laughs> you never ride a bike? I never ride a bike. Good. You can't do it? You can't no, ride a bike? I can't. I, I like Good. it. But, I... but you don't have any bike. <laughs> no. Maybe you can learn. <laughs> Maybe that can be your new pastime, new hobby. You can learn mm -hmm. to ride a bike. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, Luz, ask Manolo number three. How often do you take a taxi? I never take a taxi, but um, I never go out. Go hang out. It's hang out. Yeah. Uh huh. To hang out, como pasar tiempo. Yeah, out, outside. Ah, no. uh, oh, so like, como salir? Nunca salgo, o sea, nunca salgo por la noche o no ah, necesito so. de un taxi. Mm -hmm. So you could say, I don't, para eso, I don't, I don't go, go out. out. Mm -hmm. Good, so I never take a taxi. I never take a taxi. Good. Manolo ask Luz four. How often do you take the bus? Oh, <laughs> I never take a bus. That's the same. Mm. Right. Luz ask Manolo number five. How often do you take a, tra a train? I never take a train. <laughs> So not very often for all of these, bus, taxi, no. train. <laughs> and Manolo, ask Luz number six. How often do you work? And I want to walk every day. Uh, you want to walk every day. How often do you walk? Uh, weekends. Oh, when weekends. I, I don't have a job. Ah, oh, good. You'd say, yeah, when I don't have work, mm -hmm. when I have the time. Yeah. Good job. Questions here? No. All right. So, four bicycles. Manolo, can you read this slide, please? Yeah. Some some cities in the United States have special bike lanes. Lanes. By, by bikes must follow the same rules as cars. Good. So, so on the road with the lanes, you have different lanes. Sometimes who will say bike lane, only for bikes. Lane? Lane? Uh -huh. Lane. Lane. Not this line? Uh, it's close. Line spelled with I. Lane is L A N. Right. Like one, a lane. one lane road, a six lane uh -huh. highway, uh -huh. bike lane. All right. Good. And usually the bikes follow the same rules as cars. So no speeding, stop at stop signs, stop at stop lights, use a turn signal. Mm. Siempre? No, pero usualmente. <coughs> Tienen lo mismo rex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Luz, can you read the orange box, please? Be careful, you can get a DUI. Ready? A bike riding a bike riding a bike. The people get a DUI. Uh -huh. 
Uh huh. Yeah. What is a DUI? What does that mean? When the when some people is drunk in mm -hmm. riding bike. Yeah. So DUI stands for driving under the influence. Oh, under the influence. Mm -hmm. So under the influence of like drugs oh, or alcohol. Oh, okay. It's a little funny as if you're on a bike and you're drunk. <laughs> I can give you a ticket. It's like, no. Uh -huh. mm. Doesn't matter if you're not driving, it's not a car, but even for a bike, it's the same rules. No alcohol. Oh. All right. Okay, so let's make some questions here. Manolo, how often do you ride your bike to the park? Uh, um, I don't know. I don't have a bike. I would like to, I would like to get one. Very good. It's the same as Luz. Maybe you guys you can get bikes and ride bikes together. Yeah. <laughs> ride bikes, practice English. Yeah. <laughs> good. Luz, how often do you drive to the bank? To the bank? Um, once a week. Okay, good. Manolo, do you drive to work or walk to work? I drive to my work. Very good. Luz, do your children ride bikes? Yes, my children ride bikes. Good. And Manolo, let's see. Do you drive, do you drive your car every day? Um, yes, I drive my car every day when I go to my work. Very good. Any questions for transportation? No. No. All right, good job. Next, street sign. So what does this mean? What does it mean? Stop. Perfect. All right, the sign, the word says stop. <laughs> so Luz, can you read here where it says a stop sign? You must come to complete stop. Count to three. Stop, stop before the market line. Mm -hmm. Pedestrian? Pedestrians. Pedestrian have to ride away mm -hmm. uh, four ways stop the cars, the riches, the interstation. The intersection. The interstation first there has is. a right of way. Uh -huh. If you reach the interesting at the same time. The car to the right has the right of way. Very good. So if you have the right of way, you go first. Uh -huh. What is this word, pedestrians? Mm, the people walking? Yeah, perfect. So if you come to a stop sign, you stop. The people walking have the right of way. They can go yeah. first. That's not Good, uh huh. And so all four at one time. If you arrive, if you stop first, you go first. Okay. Right? Mm. The same traffic rules, but in English, the sign says stop. Yep. Okay. What does this mean? Uh, yellow. Yield. Good. Yeah. Manolo, read here, please. 
you will see this before entering a new street or crossing it. Mm -hmm. Be prepared to slow down or stop if there are cars on the street. Very good. So you don't need to stop, you need to slow down to look. Mm -hmm. so it kind of means like to wait, to let someone else go first. Mm -hmm. All right, what does this mean? Speed. Good. Can I drive 70 miles an hour on this road? No. How fast can I drive? <laughs> 15 miles per hour. Good. All right, Luz, please read for the speed limit sign. The number in the sign, my Betty is represent the maximum speed that you can drive. The post, post <laughs> speed is for it, idiom, idiom? Ideal. Ideal condition in bad weather, you slow drive more slow, slowly. Very good. So this number can be 15, 76, 50, 45, 10, but it is the maximum you can drive. Mm -hmm. Oops. There you go. Oh, no, no, so here, this says one, one way. way. Please read what this means. Uh. These signs give direction for you can only drive in the direction of the arrow. Good. So usually cars go this way or this way. Mm -hmm. But now it only says one way. All the cars go this direction. Yeah. You drive in Denver, like downtown Denver? Uh, downtown, yeah. Lots, lots of streets like this, one um, way. I don't like to drive downtown because you don't know when sometimes uh, you don't know where, 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 go, where, where, it's one way. <laughs> for me, driving in downtown Denver can be very confusing. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Depends with practice. I don't drive there very often. So say, is this street one way or two way? Where am uh -huh. I going? Yeah. <laughs> my destination. Now it's over there. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, what does this sign mean? No parking. Perfect. No parking. And this symbol in general, like the circle with one line, means mm -hmm. no. No. So Manolo, read here, please. Um these signs indicate, indicate, como se dice? Indicate, indicate that something yeah. is not, is not always in this instance you cannot park here. Very good. So no, specifically no parking. Okay, Luz, what does this mean? Mm, not turn. Right or left? Uh -huh. Left. Good. Read this one. Those signs indicate that uh, something is no arrow, arrowhead? Allowed. Allowed. In this distance, you can turn left. Good. So same symbol for no, but no left turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does this mean? No U. Good. No U turn. Oh, Manolo, read here, please. This sign. This signs indicated that something is not all wet. In this instance, you can't turn around, make a U turn. Very good. So you're at a light and you turn all the way around to make a U-turn. It's a name for this. Good. 
Ok. Una otra cosa por los the highways. The left mm -hmm. lane is for passing. So slower traffic, keep right in the right 